Hi folks, John Cordisco back again. Round 9 of the 78th edition of Tata Steel Chess. This is the A group, the master section. It's one of my favorite tournaments. Someday it's on my bucket list. Maybe fly out there. And I live in upstate New York in the eastern part of the United States. That'd be cool to spend a week, two weeks there actually. Anyway folks, this is a great game. Between Wei Yi of China is white. And David Navarro from the Czech Republic is black. Let's get to it. Wei Yi is white. Navarro is black. It's going to be a Berlin, but don't roll your eyes. No, Berlins are the same. It's not typical Berlin. It's more of a exchange real little pay in a way. Knight. Give me an idea. Those of you that are wondering about Knight takes c5 after queen of d4, threatening mate, bishop e3, queen takes, lose a piece. That's an old, old trap. Castles, knight c4, knight d7, queen e2. Okay. It's a position, it's a game. This is like a lot of the boring of Berlin's. Rook d8. Bishop d2 finally gets his last minor piece developed. Bishop d6. Offering the exchange. Oddly enough, I think most of us would take that in a second. Because knight takes a bishop. Which I call the minor exchange. a4 castles h3. He decides to go h4. He's put it to the test already. He's going after him. c5. And this goes again, h5. Computer wasn't really thrilled about that move, but it didn't really hurt his score any. I kind of like it, actually, uh, because white could always castle on the queen side. There's uh, no reason why white can. h6, a friendly stop the advance. Castle's long. This is also the second choice in the computer, and it's an interesting move, to say the least. Knight to b8. Guess he wants to reroute that knight. Wasn't a very good spot. Blocking the bishop, he's going to put him back here now. And then when he put him on d7, there was a reason, but that reason is gone. Rook to g1. Well, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to figure out what White's intentions are here. Knight c6, g4. Here he goes. f6. That's a big concession. It's also the computer's choice. It's really the only move. That's a big concession, though. Oh, these squares around his king now. Very weak. He's very weak on the light squares, but luckily for black, he has a light squared bishop, and white doesn't. G5, F takes, knight takes. Knight to D4. Not as good as, oh, excuse me, knight, to G, knight takes g6. Not as good as knight takes after queen takes rook g3, bishop e6. And black's actually okay here, maybe even a little bit ahead. But after knight takes g5, knight to d4. What to do, what to do. The queen needs to stay on the d1, h5 diagonal, decides to go queen to d1. Can't really put it anywhere. Can't put it here, can't put it here. Pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop b7. Now technically right now, white has sacrificed the piece. Can Navarro hold out? There's not many pieces around his king. Can he get the bishop and the queen, the rook over to help defend? Bring the knight back, maybe. Bishop b3. Bishop f6. Trying to consolidate his position a little bit. This is a really horrible threat right here. h6. Now this is where I think Navarro stumbles. And stumbles fairly badly. 
He's not a very good position. He's under a lot of pressure. He goes rook d7. Seems like a very, very natural move, but that's the mistake. g5. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. Pawn up. Knight e6. This is all computer suggestions. F takes. Knight f4. Now, granted, that's not much better, but it's better than the way it turned out. Rook d7. Pawn takes. Rook takes. And now queen h5. It looks pretty bleak for black here. Bishop b6, trying to desperately get some pieces in. At least chase them off. Bishop h6. And it's just, just horrible here. Just absolutely horrible. Bishop f7. Now, see if you can find the move here. Stop the video. I think the majority of us would move the queen. What do you think is the best move here? Stop the video and see if you can find it. Give you a few seconds here to stop the video. The move is bishop takes g7. Winning move. After bishop takes the queen, the bishop takes check. Discovered check. King f8. A bishop takes. Knight e2. King moves over. Knight takes. And bishop takes c7. White's only up two pawns, but black has two pieces in pre and a pawn in pre. And that's where David, enough's enough. Give you an idea. If you try to save the knight, rook takes h5. You're up a piece in two pawns. So there you have a great win by Wei Yi from China over David Navarro, who I think is one of the most interesting characters in chess. I like David a lot. He's very humble. He's very kind. He's an impeccable dresser. You ever see him? He dresses right up to the tee, professional. And he's just a decent guy. And he, oh my gosh, he can, he can analyze with the best of them. He's got an amazing mind. And after that big win against Caruana, I thought he might do better. But oh well. Congratulations to Wei Yi. Better luck next time, David, after that big win you had. And as I always say, folks, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.